Hi guys, I hope you liked the intro. I'm Liam from Team 21417A Robocos Robotics, and I was the team's notebooker for this last year, so I have it right here. So without further ado, let's get into it. So uh, here's the notebook. Uh, if you want, you can follow along. I will put the file to the online virtual copy of this in the description along with the file to our uh, notebook from last year when we won the world championship. Uh, you can check up on that one if you want. Uh, but it's the same format, so uh, shouldn't be too many differences, except this one's longer. Okay, so uh, to get started, uh, let, let's go to the most important page. It has a nice uh, big warning symbol on the top, so uh, judges uh, will make sure to read it. So uh, the important thing about our notebook is that it's not uh, seven notebooks of uh, just one continuous story. Uh, it's actually made out of four separate sections, uh, which you can see here. There's section one, uh, it's two books, 146 pages. Section two is three books, 363 pages, and uh, so on from that. And we'll get into what those are about uh, uh, in a second. But that's the first page that you come to. Uh, it's good for signposting, shows the judges how to read the book and everything. And uh, before I get too far, far into it, I'm just going to go uh, so go into uh, the rubric a little bit. So uh, the rubric is basically a line like the design engineering process. And uh, our team came up with our own right here. We use this for interviews as well. I'll just show it uh, to help you. So it's a... Uh, you can take a look at that, come across the problem, research ideas, establish solutions from those ideas, assemble them, test them, and then uh, examine the results and evaluate future advancements. And uh, this is just our own acronym that we developed for it uh, to help us remember it. You can use it if you want. Uh, but that's pretty much how this entire notebook is uh, kind of split up and the sections kind of correspond with that. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into section one right here. Uh, section one right there. That's the cover sheet. And this is the first notebook. This is the first notebook that I started of the year. Uh, so let's get into it. So as you can see, first part of this is come across the problem. Uh, so after we explain the notebook and this and... That's just going over what we saw on that sheet in more detail. But uh, once we explain the engineering process and what I already told you, we get into uh, the team a little bit, team roles. And this is all about, this is all part of coming across the problem and facing the problem. You have to get a full rounded idea of the problem. Uh, so that's what this notebook's mainly about, but it also researches ideas and establishes solutions. So an important part right here is uh, game analysis. We looked through the, ru uh, the rule book, the game manual. We wrote down everything that we thought was important, score information, <clears throat> specific game rules and things like that. And then we start going into researching ideas, uh, which is the second part of this. So initial game strategies, we just were brainstorming at this point initial designs, uh, we started drawing up some ideas to get some uh, thoughts flowing right here. And as you can see, the date right here is uh, May 9th. So this is way before, this is before summer started. This was a few days after Worlds. Uh, this is right when ideas were still flowing. So uh, here's something that the judges really like, uh, some good old brainstorming. So we have uh, strategy brainstorming, where we go over the pros and cons of all sorts of strategies. Uh, it, would, it might come out better on a digital copy, but I do not know. Uh, I stuck with the writing copy because it does have a certain timestamp to it, so it's hard to uh, uh, change and fake it. So uh, now some more brainstorming on the base. Uh, we have all these little drawings less words and uh, more uh, diagrams and just things that will catch their attention and actually fulfill uh, the qualifications for the rubric because they don't have like uh, three days to look through all 664 pages of this notebook. They only have like 10 minutes. So 
you need to make sure they can find what they're looking for. So we have brainstorming, more brainstorming, more brainstorming. Uh, here's some brainstorming on drive speed. I spent a few hours calculating uh, force, torque, speed, uh, and RPM all together on a chart just so we could see that all together. Uh, this chart is specifically only for four inch wheels. Uh, we get into a little bit more uh, researching ideas with some CAD models. Uh, we have a whole bunch of those. Still some drawings in there though. Uh, we get uh, to uh, separate from that, still uh, addressing the problem. Uh, we go over a little bit of our resource management, which I mean, I think that's one of the most underdeveloped parts of uh, robotics, the resource management. Uh, but uh, next we get into uh, another area of resource management, which is time. Uh, and this is a big part of the rubric, especially for the interviews. So for interviews, we pulled out the notebook and we showed the schedules we made. And uh, then we have more CAD models. And a lot of these CAD models correspond with section two uh, build models. But uh, we kept the CAD models in here because this is all the pre-building stuff and the not building stuff. Uh, here's a game strategy update, part of uh, coming across the problem and analyzing the problem. And I think you get the main gist of that uh, notebook. So let's get on to section two. This is uh, book two of section one. Uh, has a few more recent CAD models and another schedule right before Worlds. So uh, section two, this is the team build meeting log. So as you can see, uh, it's team meeting log, building, testing, driving, results and solutions. So this corresponds with uh, establishing solutions, assembling them, testing them, and even a bit of examining them. So this pretty much wipes out all those uh, quali the, all those requirements for uh, judges' awards. And I mean, as you can see, we actually, oh, actually, I'll pull up a newer one so you can see how it went uh, towards the end when I actually developed it more. That's book one. This is book two of that. Uh, I'll go through it in order. This book started in August, probably ended around uh, April. I, no, not April. This ended in February. Yeah. Shame. Uh, so we have that notebook. And then I'm going to go more in depth in this third one. I more uh, finally developed everything. Okay. So let's go over bold mean number 60. It seems like it's uh, probably as good as any. So uh, we actually organized every meeting to this uh, create process to make sure the judges understood what we were doing. So the first section uh, well, first we put the objectives, and the first section is uh, C, create, which is uh, C of the create, which is coming across the problem. Uh, so this is the problem is today we'll be fixing the end game, elevation, back wings, and some smaller issues on the bot. Uh, so that's the problems we're uh, dealing with. And in other meetings uh, where the problems were more developed, I put a lot more uh, work into that one uh, the C part of it, uh, such as this one. This one has a, this, the problem is building this CAD model. But uh, then we have the R, the researching ideas. We have some ideas for the end game and some ideas for the back wings, just right there. And then uh, we go to E, establishing the solutions. We put, this is why we'll change it and this is why and for the wings as well, and then we add some extra notes about it. Uh, here's the A section assembly, which is where I put most of the pictures, uh, and then write descriptions about it and why we did it. And then T, we have our test procedures right here, and then we have our results right here. And you can see the list of results right there and right there. 
And then, uh, yeah, we go on to the next one and it continues on after that. Uh, that was a pretty small meeting compared to others. Uh, some meetings took up nine to 10 pages. Uh, so that was a pretty small one. But that gives you the ma main idea of uh, what format we're trying to go, we tried to go with, uh, with this notebook. So the next section is uh, continuing on in the create process. It's actually uh, the programming notebook. So that was not my job. I did not do the programming notebook because I honestly uh, don't know too much about programming. But uh, here it is. It's not to the same format. This one has a lot more writing because uh, it's programming, I guess. <laughs> so we go over to the design process, create. Then we just write a whole bunch of stuff about goals, programming, PID, and then a whole bunch of uh, programming strategies and problems as we run into them. And then we have our uh, some turn PID right there. Curves, the time we tackle curves. Uh, six ball auton routes, distant sensor edition. This one's a lot smaller because it uh, had less evolution into it. We basically kept the same uh, basic code layout for almost the entire year. But uh, as you can see, we kept updating the auton routes and then we added the auton selector. Uh, a bit more on the PID. I'll just scroll through that really quick. Front distance sensor. And this is just updates. And then that's all uh, our last final skills route, which actually wasn't our final one because we changed it after we submitted this for the last time. Uh, but after that, we have the PID code. And with, this is uh, the basic PID layout. It's like 20 pages of just uh, typed out code. And uh, I mean, I don't know if that's gonna help, but it's a good, it's a good idea to have it all there because uh, they'll be able to tell that it's your code and that you wrote it. Uh, so the final section, section four, is uh, competition analysis. So, I mean, you probably realize that we film our rounds and uh, well, that's not only for the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is just kind of a afterthought when it comes to that. But uh, let's see. So it's competition analysis, summary and results, successes and failures, goals for improvement, awards and accomplishments. And uh, so that's all that's about. But uh, let's get into it. So this starts with the little introduction. Uh, and then we go straight to the Kier scrimmage, 7-29-2023. Uh, uh, so this is a scrimmage. We filmed the rounds there. I uh, wrote down what happened. I highly doubt that the judges would read this because I mean they don't. They, it doesn't catch really catch the attention, but they can definitely see that all this is recorded. These are actual results uh, and examined results. So that's a big, uh, big for that section right there. Uh, this is the second year that we've done this, so it seemed to have worked out last year. Uh, so we have the scores down, uh, and we have why we won, why we lost, and then we have analysis on why we, why, uh, the result was what it was, and then advice on, uh, what we can do better in the future. Uh, so that went on throughout the year. We had a second Gears, uh, scrimmage, a cornerstone tournament. Also, if you're just looking through this and you ever played a round against us, you could probably find the, my description of your round uh, in here. It's not, none of the team numbers are put in there, but uh, if you wanted to uh, see what we wrote about your round, uh, it's in here. Some of them are more descriptive than, than others, but uh, we uh, kept it up to date. So we have Speedway, and that's about uh, I don't know how many rounds, but about 90 pages of match analysis. So here we have uh, our rankings and our overall the overall charts for skills and everything. Our own scrimmages in here. Just looking at this makes my hands hurt. Uh, this was a skills cluster analysis of what happened there. 
and uh, that is that. Uh, and of course, at the end, we have the Innovate Award submission. I kind of edited it a little bit to include the pictures in the actual thing so they can recognize it a little bit better. And I typed it all up. But uh, that was that. And this is the award we won at Worlds, uh, which is the highest award we were able to win uh, since uh, we didn't win any excellence awards at State, uh, which is fine because both the teams that uh, won at from Indiana who were able to get excellence or design at Worlds, they both got design. Uh, so that's good for them. And so my uh, just last advice would just be stick to the rubric. Make sure you read the rubric. Uh, stick to uh, the create process. Well, design process, not create specifically. Uh, and good luck in your next season. I hope it goes uh, great for you. Uh, I would highly suggest following this uh, uh, basic format. And I would also uh, suggest just looking over our lap notebooks from our last two years and uh, taking notes from them. This notebook was uh, 664 pages, and the one from last year when we won uh, was 446 pages, I think.